What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Oh, welcome to your first time here. It should be obvious to anyone that's paying any attention at all that this country is completely divided. We have essentially two separate sides that are complete polar opposite of each other, and they're getting more and more violent on both sides. And with that, and all the political division here in the country, plus other things like economic instability, national debt, rising food prices and things like that, it's going to cause a great conflict in my opinion. Revolution, balkanization, or even a civil war. Now I know that some of you all, or even a lot of you all, may say it's not going to happen. I've been hearing this for the last two decades or more about this and it's not happened yet and it's not going to this is the united states of america the most powerful prosperous civilized country in the world however these same people apparently who would say that aren't really thinking logically they're not looking around at what's going on what's being said and how the country is essentially collapsing all around us and when you have economic troubles political strife religious Division is a perfect combination for violence. Great war, revolution, and struggle. It's happened over and over again. And if you look at where we're at now in the United States and look at where it's happened before, we're definitely heading toward that direction. And I'm definitely not alone in my thinking. I'm hearing more and more talk about civil war, revolution. Across the board from the alternative media and even the mainstream media are talking about this. For example, this article here on time.com, The Coming Great Conflict. This is a long article, and I'm going to read this whole article because it's a 50-minute average read time, so we'll just look at a few different paragraphs here and talk about this. But it's definitely something to think about and definitely far more likely than most people would believe or actually want to believe. Based on the lessons I learned from studying history about how things typically transpire under similar circumstances, I believe that what we are now seeing is the parties increasingly moving to greater extremism and a fight to win at all cost mode. This is threatening the rule of law as we know it and is bringing us closer to some form of civil war. And this is written by Ray Dalio. When I wrote my book, Principles of Dealing with the Changing World, which looked at the rises and declines of domestic and world orders over the last 500 years, I chronicled the six stages of big internal order cycle, their symptoms and the cause-effect relationship that drives them. When I wrote the book in 2020, I saw the writing on the wall, but had hoped for the possibility that we would not cross the brink into a type of civil war. So I estimated the chance of that as about 1 in 3 at the time. This was considered a crazy high estimate. This was before the 2020 election being contested and the January 6th incident. Now I think the risk of some form of civil war is unfortunately more than 50%. And I am confident that in the next year we will know the answer to whether we will cross the brink. So he's saying a 50-50 chance. I think it's actually higher than that because of everything that's going on now, especially if you add in economic troubles and things. That definitely makes it, that definitely increases the likelihood of violence and conflict, balkanization, and even civil war. Throughout history, in the latter stages of the cycle of internal order and disorder, both sides become increasingly hard, extreme, for logical reasons. This is the part of the cycle that we're in. Classically, at this stage, wealth and value gaps are large. We see that now. People have lost faith that the system will get them what they want, and the hard right and the hard left become increasingly committed to winning for their constituents at all cost, which eventually means abandoning the rule of the, rule of the game and the judges and just fighting. And that's where we're at now. This article you can see is a large article down there here. I'd like to read it out to you all, but I'm sure most of you wouldn't want to hear that, so I'll link to it in the description box below. You can read it your own self if you want. It's a good article. It seems to me that if Biden wins, Biden's out of the race now. This is written before that, but Harris or whoever the Democrats put up, 
it goes the same for those people also. It seems to me that if Biden wins, it is likely that Trump and those on the hard right who he represents won't accept the leadership of Biden and the Democratic Party. And if Trump wins, those on the hard left won't accept Trump's leadership and tactics. So either way this goes, he's correct, either way this goes, there's going to be more violence on either side because if you have, say, Kamala Harris gets elected or selected and Trump does it, people on the right are going to know that the election was rigged. So they're going to lose faith in the system even more. We pretty much lost faith in the, in the whole voting elections actually because we know how the last one went but if this happens again i mean we see what happened already it's going to be much much worse on the right this next time if trump doesn't win the same thing on the left if trump does go in or is appointed then the left is going to go ballistic going to have more division more balkanization between the two sides pair that with crashing economy crashing dollar poverty it's not looking good folks at all for all these reasons it appears to me that we're probably heading toward an existential i can't say that word guys existential battle of the hard right against the hard left in which you will have to pick a side and fight for it or keep your head down or flee this other article over here ohio senator regrets calling for civil war and I remember when this happened just here recently, he said, he pretty much said that if Trump doesn't win, they have to have civil war to save this country. Now he's trying to roll that back because he had a lot of the media criticize him for what he said and some politicians, if I remember correctly. But you see people like senators are actually calling for civil war, like if Trump loses this election. And it's the same way on the other side. Either side or it's not going to be happy, and they're going to both, in my opinion, definitely could resort to violence, and especially if you add in economic hardships and things like that. This article over here on Breitbart, Christ protects him. Donald Trump becomes Mexican folk hero in songs on assassination attempt. And we're seeing things like this here. Both sides think they have the moral high ground. They think that the right thinks for sure that they're on the side of God, that Trump's on the side of God. And then you have the other side on the left that thinks the opposite. They think they're in the right. They think that Trump is Satan himself. So you have more division. One side thinks they have God's grace and the other side thinks they do because they think they're fighting literally against evil. So you have two separate sides yet again. Guys, it's not looking good. So much hate, so much division. And we have the people on the left that are blue-haired, crazy people. And we have people on the right. Some of those are crazy people also, unfortunately. Both sides, it seems, suffer from... Having some crazies involved, but the left definitely seems to me like they're way more crazier than the right is and the things they represent. The things they represent to me are despicable, a lot of the things they represent, like all this. i got to watch what I say here on YouTube. The uh, LGBTQR 549er agenda and all, the, all that, that they're for, all the abortion and things. I mean, we know... Which side that God would more likely be on? He'd be for the right because the right doesn't believe in killing babies and things like that like the left does. And see, even I am divided on one, more on one side against the other side. We all are in this country. The country is divided. So we're going to go into a great struggle in my opinion like i said i'm not the only one saying this there's been many others saying this even senators calling for this all kinds of different news articles been about this and the alternative media and the mainstream media there's been movies about this recent movies about this very topic and we know what that was about because they do this to the president when he's elected at the end of the movie so we know what that's all about 
uh, country splitting up. The writing is on the wall, guys. If you don't think it can happen, I mean, there's it's not a guarantee, but it's definitely looking more and more like we're headed into the great struggle in this country. You need to get prepared. You need to get ready. Stop playing games. Stop trying to rely on politics to save you and your family. You need to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, and then you put your faith in your own common sense and your own preparations. Food storage, food storage, water, water filters, medical, firearms, ammunition. Learn to become more self-reliant where you are because the time to move to a different location and set up a retreat and things like that is definitely pretty much over in my opinion. You're going to be stuck where you are right now, especially if the home prices and land prices went ridiculously high. You can't find a you can't find a decent place at a decent price. So you're going to be more than likely where you are if we want to survive at. So make the best of it. Figure out how you can survive where you are and get prepared every way you possibly can. Like I said, food stores, water, water filters, medical, beans, bullets, and band-aids, essentially. You need to also have knowledge. And I will link to some of these things I'm going to show you in the description box below. These are videos I recommend. This is from Magpul Dynamics. The art of the tactical carbine. There's actually three separate discs in this, as you can see here. There's volume one and the art of the tactical carbine, volume two. Each have three discs, three DVDs. This one actually has four DVDs in this one. I also recommend you get. A couple of books that I've had for a long time. These are actually published by Paulden Press. Paulden Press is out of business now, as you probably know. However, you might be able to find these books used on eBay, or you might be able to find these books on Amazon that are highly recommended. Into the Primitive Advanced Trapping Techniques by Dale Martin. These, you would think, trapping? What's this important for? Because this has a lot of it has animal traps in this also, but we also have in this book traps for two-legged predators. There's a section in the, you can see there, arrows shot by trip wires, different man traps. I'm not going to show these really well here on YouTube, but they're definitely... good recommended books and they use primitive methods so you can see here here is an alarm using trip wires a peg and nail trigger and tin cans we saw that in the movies it actually does work fairly well but there is a section of this book that is really really good and shows a lot of good traps for two-legged predators as well as you know the uh, four-legged kind but you can see it's really good books alarms traps I mean you can see here some of these are traps the Viet Cong used in Vietnam but the trappers Bible and into the primitive advanced trapping techniques both by Dale Martin this book here is by Jeff Cooper the art of the rifle I definitely recommend this it's a great book also and Light Infantry Tactics is another good book I recommend that you look into getting a hold of. But if you can get hands-on training with someone that access combat experience or at least is really proficient in weapons, then I suggest that. Learn to set up your defenses at your property. Get good locks, good door locks, alarms, dogs, firearms, ammunition, Beans, bullets, and band-aids because, in my opinion, there's a great storm coming. A great struggle. Get ready for it. Prepare for it. You know what you think in the comments below? Do you like the video? If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Thoughts in the comments below. And I will link to some of these products here if I can find these. I haven't looked on Amazon about these. Books like this, if I can find these on Amazon, I will link to these. So check the description box below in the first pinned comment. Thanks for watching. I'm the Creek Warm Matter, and I'll see you all in the next video, hopefully.